Hey friends, what's up and welcome back to this new episode on the channel. In today's video, we are going to check out symbols and symbol overrides. And today I will explain to you how you can use symbol overrides to customize your designs and to use symbols in a more advanced way. So symbol overrides, what is it all about? Uh, at first, we have to look at symbols. If you haven't checked out the last video, which was the introduction to symbols, but make sure to check that out. And uh, I explained what symbols are and how you can use them to enhance your designs and workflows. And in today's video, we want to customize symbols and use them in a very individual way. It's like, for example, I have this group of content right here. And in the folder, you can see that there are four symbols and uh, they are pretty similar actually. Uh, we can even expand the symbol and then we can check out these containing uh, contained items. And we have an icon right here, which is also a symbol. And we have a title and a description. And we can see on our right in the inspector that we have some kind of overrides right here. And overrides are a very simple way to change the content inside your symbol without changing the source of the symbol. So if I, for example, on this last item right here, change the title because the layer uh, is called title and the other layer is called description, which is uh, this one right here, I can set it to something else like ABC. I can easily change it right here. And all of these other symbols, which are basically from the same source, aren't changed at all. And the pure uh, source of these symbols isn't changed as well. It's just uh, uh, still title, description and the icon up here. But we can also change a few other things. We can override not just a text in here, but we can also change the icon. And the way this is done, is to just go over your into your uh, inspector on the right and to choose one of these icon slash uh, 56 and then choose a different one. So you can easily swap these into the icon you want. But how do you actually get those this list of icons uh, from right here? I will show uh, to you how you can do it. Let's go back into our symbols page. Here we have the source, as I said, and if we scroll to the right, we can see that there are four different icons and four different layers. And all of these layers have the same size. All of these are uh, 56 by 56 and have a somehow grouped layer name. And this is the way how you can use those uh, icons um, and make such a group, grouped uh, dropdown of layers that you can use to swap. I will uh, add another one. I will just make a duplication ver duplicated version of uh, the drop. And now let me go in here and let's uh, maybe swap the drop. <laughs> so it's upside down. Um, what we can do now in the, in the design is to go into our panel again and choose drop copy because it's, as I said, same size and especially the same icon name which makes it super easy for us to override the icon that we have in here. Of course, the description could also be changed. Ah, I could just simply grab the description from this uh, instance and just paste it in here. So you can easily swap those texts. You can swap uh, different kind of um, um, icons um, right here using other symbols, using um, these nested symbols. And this is a super easy way to customize your designs with just a few easy steps. All you have to do is to prepare your symbols in such a way that they are uh, having nested symbols or these overridable layers. Um, and that way you can uh, use the symbol in a very individual way. For example, like here shown with those four different parts. So that's a very powerful example of how you can use overrides in your designs. And to create a new one, you could simply create a new artboard right here and make sure that it also has the same size, create a new symbol out of it um, and make sure to give it the same name as those other icons. Um, I will just call it plank for now you to, to give you a, a, an idea of what you can do. So if we go back into our dropdown right here, we can see that we have a plank version in here as well and we can go into our blank artboard and maybe uh, paste in one of those icons and then maybe customize it a little bit 
change it upside down or whatever just to give you a basic impression. This is how you can use those drop downs, those nested symbols and overrides in your design. You can also use overrides for things like layer styles, uh, for uh, text styles and so on. So it's a very easy and convenient way and it helps to customize your designs by uh, customizing your symbols and of course using symbols for a like very big project makes so much sense and it will speed up your design process so much because what you can do now is you can use your custom uh, text and icons and so on uh, in your in your design but if you want to go into your symbols and maybe change the font of the title that we have placed in here we can simply go in here and change it up to something else so <laughs> something like this something crazy um, and you can see it's changed up for all of these different symbol instances, but the content itself didn't change because it got overwritten. So this is super awesome. I hope you like this short little example of how you can use the overrides. Just play around with it. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them down in the comment section of this video. And we will see us, of course, in the upcoming episode. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.